First question. In your day-to-day -day life, do you use violence to solve your personal problems? No. Perfect. And then your second question would be, with the exception of self-defense, of yourself and other people, would you consider it wrong and immoral to initiate that force? Um, pretty much, yeah. Right? And then the last question would be, would you also consider it wrong and immoral to violently force your ideas onto other people? Yes. All right, perfect then. So you just told me in your day-to-day -day life, you have a plurality of non-violent solutions you apply and use to solve your personal right. problems, right? Yes. So you have this more integrity against that violence. Yes. Right? So as a community, though, as a, as a community of individual people here in Richmond, though, we're taught the only way you can affect any kind of change or make any kind of difference through is through government. Right. right. And they tell us, you have to vote to, to do that. So people vote with their ideas, with their opinions, and with their preferences, and how best to solve that community problem, and in effect, they elect the politician. Right. right. That politician, his early job is to legislate those ideas and opinions into law. Oh. Right. And then those laws and opinions are then backed and enforced by the police, though, at gunpoints. Right. Right. You could take a uh, government opinion that cannabis is bad for you. Right. Bad for everyone. So if you were to smoke a plant, you'd be kidnapped, arrested, thrown into a cage, a prison, and when any point of refuse or resist because you don't agree with that opinion and try to escape, you'd be met with more violence or sometimes shot. Right. Right. Or murdered. And at the same time, government has even found it to more violence because no point can say, I do want to help the poor. Right. But I don't want to fund war. <laughs> right. No. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. So you find that you have no freedom of economic choice. You still have to give your money. You still have to give up your property. You still have to pay your taxes. Right. Right. Because if you did have a freedom of economic choice of what to do with your own money, government wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage True. if you didn't pay your taxes. True. Right. So that's the hidden violence. That's the immorality of government. And that it contradicts your own moral position to begin with. Right. Right. So that's, that's the major. This organization only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus though the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and, and my friend here already share. Right. So what do you think of that? That's pretty awesome. Yeah? Interesting, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, um, have you found any ways that perhaps, uh, I guess, you found your, your freedom to be intervened by government in uh Not exactly. I mean, I haven't like really sought out situations where that where it would come into conflict, but no, I can't say what I have. What about your friends, maybe? No? How about cannabis? What are your thoughts on... Uh, I think people should just do what they want to do, really. If, as long as it's not infringing on anyone else's rights, who cares? Right. It's my body, right? I should right. be able to do what I want with my own body, right? You do what you want with your body. Right. <laughs> but, but it's funny, though, but you can't tell a politician the same thing, right? right? Uh, so you find, like, within government, they have no respects for body rights. They don't have a uh, respect that you own your own body um, or your own productivity, right? Right. Um, so uh, what are you studying here at VCU? Uh, social work, right? Social work. Oh, cool. <laughs> what do you want to do with social work? Um, I want to probably do work in mental health and help gay people and deaf people and um, just, I guess, college students in general. Right. You know, I've or, and maybe old people on the side because that's more in demand, but mostly the college student population. All right, that's wonderful. That's very, I guess, you find, I guess, that altruism in there, yes. that, that need you want to help. When people say without government, who's going to help each other? It's like, well, the fact that you ask that question implies that you do want to help, right? Yes. Uh, like, here's like three people here already that want to help, you know? It's not... Right. Uh, Government that, that does that is people. Right. So I shouldn't have worn a sweater here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hot outside, it's hot in here too. So, so again, so again well, what government is objectively, they have a monopoly on the services we want, right? They have a monopoly on law, on courts, on uh, on roads, on uh, like first class moment, you go to the post office, they have a monopoly on delivering pieces of paper. Uh -huh. No one's allowed to unsubscribe or cancel or compete entrepreneurially against those monopolies. People try too. Yeah, right. uh, and if you try to compete, government will threaten you with a fine. If you continue to persist, they'll throw you into a cage. Whereas a, a, a private institution would have to actually outdo you in order to shut you down. Right. You have now competition, right? And the only way they can be aggressive is saying, look, I could do better than him, you know, do business right. with me, right? Not, not yeah. just here infringing my bottom line, here's a gun, go away. Right. So that's it. I guess w without that government control, a monopoly on the services, you have free market uh, services, right? Right. Voluntary interactions, kind of like what we already have. I guess what we, I guess, uh, advocate for, um, right. in ways that are nonviolent, right? Right. All right. So cool. Uh, that's that's uh, I guess sums up the how I guess government is immoral. Would you like some pamphlets? Oh uh, sure. Why yeah. Not? All right. Yeah. Cool. My name is Cal. Uh, Quentin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Matt. you. Matt. Quentin. Nice to meet yeah. you. Too.